Hey guys, how you going? Hope you're all doing very well. Tonight I'm going to be doing a review of a micro-budget horror film from France, French language English subs. I think it was released in 2007. I could be wrong. It's not really clear as to when it was released, but it's fairly recent. Directed by Nicolas Brezier, and this film is called Snuff Films. Now, Snuff Films centers around a couple. Now, the female has been asked for a casting call in a movie, so she's very, very excited, and her boyfriend is going to drive her out uh, for her. So they come to this very secluded area where the crew told them to meet them them, and something is strange, they don't know where they are. So they stop at this place, and all of a sudden they are attacked by three psychopaths. Now these psychopaths deal with snuff films, and they need to make a snuff film for their customers. So the couple are the prime candidates for their newest film. So what they put the, the couple through is a lot of torment and torture, and whether or not the couple make it out of here alive, that's up to you to find out for yourselves, because that's as far as I'm going with the synopsis. Now my thoughts on the film. I had no idea what to expect with this one. I love French horror films, and that was the reason why I wanted to see it. Now the director, Nicolas Brezier only had 900 euros to play with as far as the budget is concerned. So it is absolutely minimal budget. So I really didn't have anything, you know, I wasn't expecting anything brilliant and I was actually doubting whether or not I would enjoy it. So straight away you get a very August Underground feel to it. And for that I actually thought, nah, this could be an August Underground ripoff or, you know, films like this have been done before and they're basically just cashing off of other titles so I thought you know I'm going to give it a chance you know it is I got to watch it for free and a lot of you will as well because Nicholas Brezier has put this on YouTube so I'll leave a link in the description below for you to check it out but straight away I got the feeling of August Underground and as the movie progressed I was starting to like it more and more now yes it might be a micro budget horror film but the director Nicholas Brezier has shown a lot of talent and I'm really excited for this guy if he can get a bigger budget movie I think he could create something really good and it's typically of the French to be able to deliver something like this. So the constraints of the budget didn't in, uh, didn't prevent me from enjoying the film. I actually really liked it, and I'm sure a lot of you out there will as well. But don't expect anything brilliant. Uh, it's a very, very simplistic story. It's a very simplistic character development. But what I got was a straight-out horror film that doesn't pre to, uh, pretend to be anything that it isn't. I thought the director showed a lot of creativity in the camera angles. It's a uh, found footage type of film, as I said, a very similar feel to August Underground. Very dirty, grimy, very sleazy type of movie. There's rape in it, so be very careful of that. It's not an overly graphic film, but once again, the budget constraints, but the director still made it very disturbing. He made the violence very raw and in your face and is unapologetic. It doesn't hide from anything. As I said, not graphic, but it's still very brutal to watch. Uh, there's the camera, the way he used the camera, the different lighting and the different sort of views, I thought were really well done. It, it created something a little bit different in a very tired subgenre. And the villains, I absolutely love the villains, especially the guy with the very trademark style laugh. I thought that was terrifying in some parts because you couldn't see him, but you could hear the laugh. And that laugh will send a chill down anyone's spine. So you could really feel what these characters were going through. So limited budget, but towards the end, it starts to get very suspenseful. It's um, when, I'm not going to really give anything away, but the setting was really well done. And the director played it out a little bit. So he left it up to the imagination. And I actually really appreciated that aspect. So it doesn't go down a typical gore fest. It doesn't go and try and copy everything that August Underground is. I actually feel that this is a lot better than August Underground. But that's just my opinion. August Underground had a lot of good gore, but this movie, it does have a very psychological, hard-hitting impact on you, which really, really surprised me. And I thought the ending to the film was very good as well, very depressing, and once again, typical of the French. So uh, my criticism of the movie, as I said, very simplistic, but once that is down to the budget constraints. You can't expect too much from such a small budget. And for that reason, I'm not going to give it a rating. I'm going to say, you know, I liked it a lot. Uh, for what it was, I was expecting nothing and I actually got something. So I'm going to leave a link in the description below. I liked it and I'm sure a lot of you out there will be surprised uh, from it as well because it had great villains. Uh, the this, this soundtrack was very matching and appropriate and I really liked the last quarter of the film so I actually thought it provided something suspenseful. So, um, you know, it is a pretty nasty film as well. So yeah, support Nicolas Brezier. If he can get a bigger budget, I'm sure he is going to create some very memorable horror films. I want to get it out there, get as much attention as possible for this guy because micro-budget horror films, especially from France, need to be encouraged because the more we have of these directors, the better. So it is a movie that um, don't expect too much and you'll be uh, very pleasantly surprised. So that's my review of the French horror film Snuff Films. 
it is coming recommended. I enjoyed it, um, and I'm sure you know uh, some of you who are diehard French horror fans might get something out of it as well. So that's my review. I hope you enjoyed it. Until next time, keep watching movies, and I'll see you later. Bye.